Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to pop in here real quick and share with you a haul that I have. I picked up some things from the Stamps of Life as well as from Michaels that I want to share with you. And I also want to share with you some happy mail that I received. So I want to start off by showing you this collection that Michaels has. It's called the Recollections Memory Explosion Box. And I did not get the Explosion Box, although they have Explosion Box is already made for you that you can just decorate but instead I picked up the memory explosion box 6x6 foil paper which is what you see here these these are 24 sheets of 6x6 paper they are single-sided so the nice thing is you don't have to figure out which paper you want to use the front or the back because you can use all of them and I figured I'd pick these up because I love the colors I love the pastel colors in here and I am going to be making some cards with this collection and that video will be coming up in the next couple of days now if you want to follow along with me as I make my cards make sure you get the foil paper there were other paper pads in this collection but I picked up the foil paper pad I also picked up these chipboard sticker frames and these frames are really neat because when I see a frame you guys know me and I love to make shaker cards and in my card video coming up I will be using these frames to make some shaker cards I won't be doing an entire video on shaker cards but some of them that will include shaker cards and if you don't like to make shaker cards you can still do my card video by just doing it as a regular um, piece of chipboard with um, on a card instead of using the acetate and the foam and putting shaker elements inside I also picked up these die cut stickers these are the birthday die cuts now Michaels also had a pack of die cuts relating to travel and then they also had another pack of die cuts I'm not sure what they're all called but I will link these exact products down below in the description box so you can take a look because Michaels does have them online as well but these are the birthday die cuts that I'm making birthday cards as well as you can use these for congratulations cards I also picked up the washi tape that's in this collection and I also picked up these adorable heart paper clips now I don't use these in my card I just want to give you a heads up but I just thought they were so cute so I wanted to pick them up as well also at Michaels while I was browsing I saw this self-healing mat by Cricut brand and it's 18 inches by 24 inches and this was one of those impulse buys I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about but I didn't really need a mat but when I saw the design on this, oh my goodness, look how pretty it is. They had this pink floral design. They also had one in teal, and they also had one in, I think, purple, but I think that purple one I saw online, the one in the store was the teal and this pink one. So this is one side of it. It doesn't even fit on my camera, but you can see the design, how pretty it is. And then on the back is just this regular mat just as you always see me use and it does have all of the measurements on it but I'm thinking that I probably am going to be using the front of this which is the decorative side when I do my videos because it's so pretty so you might see that in my videos coming up so while I was at Michaels they were not on sale they were regular price $35 and I decided to just do some price searching online and I saw them at Joann's which was right next door for me and they were on sale all their Cricut stuff was on sale so it was like $26 at Joann's and I asked Michaels if they would price match and they did so I was able to get it for $26 which I thought was a deal because the regular price was 35 and they also have them in 12 by 12 so in case you're looking for a mat um, check these out at the craft store and I will also link those below so here is my stamps of life haul so I have these scalloped square dies and I do have the scalloped rectangle dies but I never had the scalloped square so I just want to say that if you are a beginner card maker these nesting dies are wonderful because all you have to do is die cut these squares or whether it be a circle or whatever pattern it is and you can have some nice layers up on your card so I decided to pick these up and I will definitely be putting these to good use. So I also picked up these heart dies and my whole intention with these dies and the next set of stamps that you see is that I was going to be making some Valentine's Day cards but 
I actually already did all my Valentine's Day card videos and I don't know that I'm going to actually be getting to this stuff for this year for the Valentine's Day. I'm sure that I'll be using these stamps in upcoming videos, whatever videos I'll be doing. I don't even know off the top of my head right now, but for Valentine's Day, I think I'm pretty much done. So I have some Valentine's Day videos coming up probably next week or so. So this is a popcorn. You get your popcorn um, container and you get these kernels and you get all these fun sentiments. You're so corny. What's poppin'? Enjoy. You're a pop start. And then whatever pops your corn bursting with excitement and I have the matching dies here and I will link these products down below in case you're interested in these stamps. These are some older stamp sets. I also have this ice cream sundae dish as well as the ice cream cone and I have the matching dies. Now the sentiments on here scream for scream for ice cream or what does it say we all scream for ice cream what's the scoop got ice cream but anyway you can see that there's no ice cream scoop like the actual ice cream because that's in a different stamp set and I'm going to show you the stamp set here in just a minute but I had an idea that I wanted to do with this card for Valentine's Day but like I said I don't think I'm going to be getting to it because I've already done a, I think I have like four videos coming up for Valentine's Day ideas so Stay tuned for that. Here's the actual stamp set that has the ice cream on it. You can do a solid ice cream stamp or the stamp that you can color in. And these ice cream scoops go with the other stamp set that you see here. So that one is the Scream for Ice Cream. And then the one that I just picked up is called Cone to Dish. So again, I will link those down below. And I have the matching dies as well. So that is my Stamps of Life haul. And really quick, I have to share with you this happy mail that I received from Suzanne Worcester. She mailed me all of her shaker bits and this beautiful card. This card, it says hello, and she made it with the whale dies from the Stamps of Life. I think that the hello is from the bicycle dies, but I'm not for certain. She also used those scalloped rectangle dies, so that's similar to the scalloped square dies that I showed you, only in the shape of a rectangle. And then the pattern paper is also Stamps of Life. So these are all Stamps of Life products, it looks like, that she used on this card, and it's so stinking cute. So thank you so much, Suzanne, for this beautiful card. I'm going to hang this up in my craft room with all my other cards, and look at all these fun goodies that she she sent me she sent me all of these shaker bits I guess that she doesn't make a whole lot of shaker cards or if she does make shaker cards maybe she just has too many shaker bits but she knows that I love to make shaker cards so she sent me some stuff that was in her collection that she wasn't using and she sent me some sequins and some little um, other little shaker bits various colors and oh my gosh I am so excited to organize these in my shaker collection and look at these these look like little peppermints you can use these on the gingerbread card um, they look like the the little um, candied peppermints and then some of her white pom-poms here's some snowflakes and some of these are actual little clay pieces which are really fun these look like little limes again in the peppermint style peppermint candy style but they're in the green color and look at all these sequins oh my goodness and then these are little flowers little clay flowers I am so excited to use these so thank you so much, Suzanne, for sending me all of this. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this. So that is it for me. I just wanted to share my haul. So stay tuned for my Michael's Recollections, the Memory Explosion Box collection. So if you liked what you saw, please go ahead and get your um, stop by your Michael's or order it online because my video will be coming up with the cards that I made from that collection. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.